RSE8 character right here. I don't know about that one. The commander can be pretty tough though, sometimes. He's just so hungry for items. I'm asking uh, several different people for this, so I shall not ask you if you could have any item and have a void version of it. Uh, what would it be and what would it do? My first reaction is just to move safer spaces to like avoid Aegis or something. But honestly, something like avoid Lepton Daisy would be kind of cool. Have it do like damage enemies inside or outside of the teleporters and just make Lepton have a purpose. We need this. That's a good start, I think. I don't know, I think all of the bad items in the game, uh, that are like objectively seen as bad, could use a uh, void item. I think that's just like the easiest thing, right? That's a, what they did with Bungus, right? They took this item that no one likes, regardless of how haha <laughs> funny people think it is. No one likes it, except Engineer Mains on Drizzle or some shit. Uh, and they made it something that's like really desired and good. And I think the the way that works is great, because you can get like, you can look at Bungus as a tool to get something you want later. It's like, oh, this could be cool if we saved up for that, or... And I think that's the best way to make bad items in the game actually be. At least a fun way to do it. I don't know. Void Ages. I still think Void Ages should be like, uh, Saber Spaces or something. I first saw that Saber Spaces give you a complete no damage for three seconds. I thought that was common, I was so confused. We over, don't worry. If they did that, they would have to introduce Word of Gold to be able to balance it. I mean, maybe. The thing is, though, you still only have so many items per run. So while you do make more items that are technically better, it's not like you're getting all of them, or slapping them on top. For example, if you take Glass or something, a Lunar item, you can always slap that on top of any build ever. But for Void, you still have to replace and, and whatever. And it doesn't make them good for necessarily the end game. Like a void left hod wouldn't make Mythrix easier, right? In fact, it might even make it harder, because you can't scrap that item anymore. Either way, I mean, the game could be harder. Also, as a separate thing, it could definitely use some difficulty bump. Or void res, the red pool is too small, and one of them is Mythic Bloom. Yeah, it's very, very small. And so when you recycle it, you only always get the other one every time. 10% more useful items stage 1 and 2, you go faster and curve ahead of the enemies. I think the the whole going faster thing is not quite as solidified as a lot of people think it is. If you do go faster while getting all the loot, you will be better, but if you go faster from the start and still give up stuff, it doesn't make your run easier. If it's higher than A, what do you think the effects would be? <laughs> Chat's favorite question. Go on, chat. Give me some ideas for Eclipse tonight. I haven't asked this for the last couple years, and I don't really have a good answer for it. But chat loves to give their uh, their opinions of what it could make Eclipse way harder and cooler. Let's just kill the boss, shall we? Okay, we'll do this. Thank you. I'm not doing a lot of damage right now, honestly. My items are actually terrible. <laughs> Jesus. How do you feel about phase run versus phase blast? I like phase run better. It's more fun to line enemies up, and you get a significant damage bonus for doing it, which also proc spans. Moving teleporter zone. Mm. That's actually an interesting one. I've never heard that before. I've heard basically everything that Chad is saying. For eclipse levels already in the past couple of years, but not that one. That one's new. I don't know, what they could do in Eclipse specifically is shift everything over so that Eclipse 9 is permanent damage and have the first Eclipse level be that enemies get extra attacks. That way it's not gated by playing the mode for a very long time and you still get to see, you know, kind of what those things are. But I think that would make it really interesting because this game is pretty, pretty simple in the way that Every enemy just has like one attack basically, so making it more interesting could be fun. Limited ammo? No. <laughs> that does not sound fun. Okay, let's get more bleed real quick. For range, I feel like if you nine is pretty tough, travel less. It could be interesting. I don't think it's interesting enough to have an entire the rank for it. Yeah, I was tested, and I've played a mod that tested that one out. I don't really like that one as much, because for a lot of characters it just felt pretty bad. That's just my opinion on it, I guess. A scorpion and chest is synergized well? Not really. If you have one, you don't really need the other. 
It's kind of overkill, which is why it's weird that uh, one of them isn't a void of the other. Scorpion would have would have made an amazing void item of uh, justice, I think. Jesus. Another card. Oh, nice. There is a scrapper, so we can get rid of our build. Cards always show up in pairs, etc. Void equipments. So that could be cool. If you can't get rid of a void equipment, you just have to use it. You pick it up. I do zero damage. <laughs> Give me some more stuff. Okay, very helpful. Very cool. I'm gonna play teleport because we're gonna get a double boss anyway, which is cool. Get more and more corrupted the more you use them. That could be cool. The thing is, there's like a lot of simple systems in this game. Um. And sometimes when you incorporate systems like that, they become not so simple anymore. And it goes against a little bit of philosophy, I think, of what the devs were at least trying to do. I don't really care as much for the simple stuff, but it does make it really easy for people to jump in, considering there are a lot of items you do have to learn. That's why, I, dude, Cup move around the Titans is so fucking annoying. Uh, so I like a lot of the interactables in the game don't have... UI or anything like that besides the scrapper, and even then that's pretty easy. The most complicated thing in this game is probably Veden's corruption meter. That's the only stat bar available. Did we miss anything else besides like the one multi shop over here? That's pretty good at least. Go up. Um, okay. Thanks. Oh, look. I mean, it's free. I'll take it. Jaro's being printer. Okay. Well, there we go. There's something. I love this guy. It's so good. Two void seeds, though, which I'm not a huge fan of here. But hey. Do you want to just all in this? I could. Okay, let's start there then. Did this say just X? No. This is Cooler Eclipse. Why do you keep Voice Crystal? I didn't notice that I had it. It's okay on Commando. And if you're in the vanilla void mod, I think there's a lot of cool voids in that mod. I also think the feather in that mod is terrible. It should be burned. I like to use focus crystals on enemy stars. I always forget about it so I consider it a dead item. I do. You should use focus crystals on everybody, really, if you can. White feather feels great. Get out of my chat room right now. Hey, we found it. All right. Let's make sure to buy all the multi-shop stuff then, and that'll be fine. I don't want to clear all the seeds, man. I'm gonna take this slug right now. Hey. <laughs> AoE would sure be nice. Why do you use frags? So you can do this. Boom! Frags are more fun. Uh, um, we should just be re-rolling. Honestly. If you're going to the replies of shrimp build, would the other special be better? Maybe? I don't know, I still wouldn't use it. I just don't like suppressive fire at all. Jesus. I need to open up this one multi-shop. I don't know if it's actually worth it to try to reroll for a gun on this stage though. I think it's probably better to go to next stage with the recycler. Is the faster furnace set a mod public? Yeah, just look up risk of resources on the thunder store and you'll find it. Without any AoE, it's just gonna get pretty bad. Everyone's least favorite survivor. My favorite survivor is Loader. I don't have a least favorite survivor. They're all good. They're all amazing. Alright. Well, the boss isn't really going to be a problem anymore. Let's see. That much is clear. Even NG? Yeah, I actually like playing NG. So. Uh, okay. Let's grab our first one. Yeah, I was always tiger for again. If we didn't have the fuel cell, it wouldn't have been, I don't think. But hey, it worked out. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff over here. That's one. Now let's go get the other one. Shatter Spleen Churf. That would be pretty cool. Double BG. Wrong.
And we got three, dude. Nice. Very good and cool. Let's go reroll everything and be cool. I, I don't know if I'm gonna get anything good from these boss items, but we'll see. Gloop, not a good first roll. Murph is pretty good. We do have one ignition tank. I should have kept the other one to be honest. So. Owie. It's fine. Planula. Nice. Alright, well we're hoping for a boss set in printer, so. Oh yeah, I wanna reroll the scythe too. If you can get a fight, that could be nice. I don't really want it. Nice. Do you think aspects activated under undeath effects as an active would be kind of cool? Maybe. I think having an active for them would be cool. I'm absolutely taking this. Does the like aspect have a hidden use that I got one yesterday and it felt kind of useless? I mean, it just is kind of useless. Oh shoot, spikes on the ground, but that's kind of it, you know? You inflict anti-healing onto enemies, which can be okay. For like a scab or the combat mending enemies, I guess. But it's not really that great. Finally, I just realized I have like no movement speed either. I like how this map is brighter with this mod. It makes it feel better. Or it's so evil. They're okay. As is usually by the time you're here. A little more speed. It's fine. You don't need speed, but makes them easier. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna hit that actually. Ah, well, we do have a recycler, but we just don't have a lot of damage. Put in on Risk Rain 2 OST because I've never seen him play with the game OST. I think it's good. I just like playing my music when I play games, usually. There's like really aren't that many games that I play with the OST for. No, like I like the songs, I just they kind of just uh, are the same. And if I play with the OST for this game, just like the in game music, half the time you're on the stage, there's no sound whatsoever. And it's really not fun, <laughs> frankly. Because after the teleporter, there's just no music. And during the teleporter, if you walk outside of it, which you do on Eclipse, uh, it's like muted. So if my goal is to listen to music while I play, I should just turn off the OSC, unfortunately. But hey. Why'd I pick that up? I have actually no idea. Yeah, I finally gained Desperado and Icicle Spirit potentially to my favorite runs involving those. Now I'm a believer. Easy. A believer has been made this day. Oh, don't bump me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do the uh, mountain run, actually. Cope run? It kind of feels a little copy. No. It's also kind of a no, so. Chest is a little bright. Hey, everybody. We did it. Should I be good at all characters before I start doing Eclipse? No. Eclipse 1 is Monsoon. So, you just need to be able to beat Monsoon essentially. And you can do that by just doing Eclipse 1. Eclipse is where you learn how to be good at character. That's the whole point of it. You can hear Larva everywhere. I do not want that. I want that though. Suddenly, everything is looking a little bit better. Give me a key. I'll take another one. I will do a uh, mention it. Overloading Wandering Vagrant. Obviously, let's take out the <laughs> other one first. I'm hitting the overloading one. That's fine. I'm such low speed, dude. Thank you, Happy Smask. Or watch, it's okay. Because we're alive. Let me get the evil on this, please. Finally, has made me pick up a scythe. Thank god for headset, dude. Oh, there was another uh, mountain shrine. I don't think I would have done two, but... I mean, at least we have saver spaces, but Jesus. 
Had a fun interaction with Warhorn, FMP, and Berserkers as Runner and could fly. Yeah. It's fun when you can get into like the fly state as a uh, gunner. I enjoy it. I might leave that on the ground a second. That's not a bad equipment. Alright. I have such little speed, I just get booped by Wisps, and that's it. I just get booped. I got fly is one of my favorite things. It means our Rogan is such good rapid fire proc weapon as well as insane damage. True. I got speed, everybody. A little bit. It's not enough, but it's a start. If I were NG, because we're on close to be my favorite, NG makes so many good builds, and survivors just can't. That's true. NG utilizes items that the other survivors just don't, just because of the turret interaction, which is always a kind of really cool feeling. I mean, Opal helps. I see another mountain friend. I see a sticky bomb. Mm. There's potential here. A key? Uh, I'll think about that one, because it's kind of late. And I don't know if I've opened the key box on this stage yet or not, so... Okay. We do have some things on the stage for a card. Well, this time it's reversaries, third hit, exposed transfer. Right on the third hit. You have to animation cancel the third hit, so it's just right on it. I've been trying to get the hang of Merc tech, and it's crazy how every character gets even better. It's really, really good. Once you get the hang of it, it's, it's amazing. It makes him so powerful. It's amazing how many white items there are, and how there's like three white items that give movement speed, and how I have like none of them. <laughs> Is there no scrapper? I don't think so. Soulbound? We do have a gas printer, so if we find an FMP on the stage, I will actually do it. Holy shit. Those are real, dude. They're not a myth. I guess we're just taking the key, huh? Uh, let's take this real quick. And replace it with the thing. Faster. Well, I'm rolling that, so. I really actually do want the FMP, though. If we can get it here, that'd be... Actually, so fun. Gun. Vrit. Okay, well, we could get a worm here, so that could be cool. That's actually pretty good. I think I, I need the MV cores. Actually, I don't just want them. I am in need. A great need. I don't know if I want that many ukuleles, so. though. I think I want one, for sure. What are you looking for when you rerolled Wungus? Probably another needle tick. Or just another saver spaces or something. And um, we should take both anyway for the uh, the orbs. Can't recycle it before in a sixth chance uh, flute. I don't think I'm taking a recycle them, though. I think I'd rather go for the capacitor. I almost picked that up. Holy shit. I don't need another one of these. Okay, well. Horrifying Vrit, dude, that would have been so bad. I guess you're just getting sticky bombs then, also. Well, obviously I don't want that, so we're gonna reroll it. Get a Plurva. So we're gonna probably lose our bands, so we can get Plump Polyloot when we die, which isn't that bad. And also having another life is obviously pretty good, so. Okay, I see a chance moving forward. It's gonna be really hard, though. I think. No bonfire? Nah. I guess. What's the difference from bonfire to practice mode? Practice mode? Uh, if you've ever seen the loadout races where you just, you die and nothing happens, it's like that. Where like you get down to zero health and you just have infinite deos. Bonfire mode is you restarting the fight from the beginning until you could win. Fun to see a heretic run for a community event or something one day. I used to do a heretic run once a month 
But there was just a point where I just stopped doing it because it was just so boring to me. <laughs> OP, I don't think I've ever seen a streamer do one before though. I mean, after like 10 minutes, you're like, okay, I get it. ATG. Um, I guess I'll take another plump. I don't know. All right. Oh, we have to do all three, so let's get comfy. It's going to be the hardest boss fight I've had in a long time. Uh, but soul throws are the best. They're actually thrilling. I mean, I can see where you're coming from with that. It's the only pillar that makes you feel something. Usually, I do agree with that sentiment, but soul pillars on equip suck. That's fine, though. They're not, like, super fucking terrible. I just don't really want to deal with them all the time. Kind of blown out of proportion a little bit. Blood players can kill you from being... From the HP leeching? I don't think so. That was good. Have, okay. I don't have enough uh, movement speed to do all those little tricks that I like doing. To, like bypass them and stuff. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him right off the rip with that. Okay. I couldn't move out of the way of his needles, unfortunately. That's not good. At least we have Polyweird, but losing the band damage is pretty terrible. Ow. Um, <laughs> I'm dead before we can even get further in here. Unfortunately. The no speed is so rough. I don't want Zoya. <laughs> to be honest. I need to be circling more because I'm okay. I'm hitting him with Tenta Bobble. And Tenta Bobble shoots out needles. <laughs> I love wood doing. Terrible, awful. I hate the fucking orb. Don't orb me, stop it. Phase 3 is gonna be not possible.
fucking needles. Every time that the jailer hooks them, he shoots a fucking needle at me. So during pizza, it just broke my saber spaces. That sucks. <laughs> this is actually okay that the Zoya is pulling away the cloth. Feels so good. Fucking orb. You know what's crazy? When we get into phase four, if I get into phase four, I'm gonna be faster in phase four than I will be outside of phase four. Actually, fucking carried by <laughs> Zoe and, and Picos. Actually, I mean, it's crazy that Phase One seemed to be the hardest thing for some reason. I mean, Phase One has a lot of HP and there's a lot of shit happening, so I guess it kind of makes sense. Get me off the moon. 